Recently, we commemorated the 80th anniversary of D-Day, in which my regiment, the Parachute Regiment, played a key role. I served operationally with the regiment, both here in Northern Ireland and during the Falklands War. D-Day was about restoring democracy in Europe. The Falklands War was about restoring the right of self-determination for the British people of the Falkland Islands. Yet here today in Northern Ireland, we're denied the right to make our own laws without foreign interference. That cannot go on. The RDC border, which the DUP falsely told you they had got rid of, along with EU law, is not just a dry constitutional issue. It impacts every facet of our lives. Now, even to the point where the EU is deciding what type of potato crisps can be produced in Northern Ireland. A pending EU regulation is going to ban the production of smoky bacon flavoured crisps in Northern Ireland. How ridiculous is that? And yet it illustrates what it means to have our economy governed by foreign laws rather than our own UK laws. The EU is currently proposing to ban the use of amalgam in dental fillings from the 1st of January next year. At present, NHS funding for amalgam procedures barely covers that cost. So if the ban is introduced, NHS dental services in Northern Ireland will become unsustainable even while they continue in Great Britain because the alternatives are so much more expensive. It is absurd that a foreign parliament unelected by the people of Northern Ireland and unaccountable to us, should break any of our laws. That it should make a law that impacts one of our great national institutions, the NHS, placing an aspect of it in jeopardy, is intolerable. On a whole range of issues, from livestock imports to your choices online, these foreign laws dictate our lives. At many businesses, long-established supply chains with GB have been severed overnight. No other country in the world would tolerate the situation where 1.9 million of its citizens are ruled by laws that they do not make and cannot change. We are in business to restore our equal citizenship within the United Kingdom. Once this was the position where all Unionist parties stood when we signed unalterable opposition to the protocol. Sadly, unionism has been divided by those who have abandoned that principal position and also rejected an offer of agreement on this election. The reconstruction must start now with the full restoration of the Union. That is our mission. On the 4th of July, you must decide who you can trust. You deserve honesty from your politician. The DUP told you when they did the Donaldson deal that the REC border was gone. Now they've had to admit it is not. Those who sought to mislead you in February do not deserve your vote in July. Vote instead for those you can trust. Vote TUV 